Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India NPTEL course environmental chemistry and microbiology. This course will be taught by Professor Shudha Goel and myself Professor Anjali Pal. Uh, we both are from civil engineering department of IIT Kharagpur. We have divided this course into two parts. The first part will be environmental chemistry that will be covered by me and the second part is environmental microbiology that will be taught by Professor Shudha Goel. Now, this is my sixth module and this is my 30th lecture. In my earlier lectures in earlier modules, I have discussed about the acids, bases and salts that was my first module. In the second module, I discussed about the chemical equilibrium. In the third module, I told about the uh, chemical kinetics. In the uh, fourth module, I discussed about the catalysts and catalysis. And in the fifth module, I discussed about the uh, chlorine chemistry and nitrogen chemistry. And this is my sixth module where I am covering the radioactivity or nuclear chapter. In the previous lectures in this module, I, I have discussed about the fundamentals of radioactivity, how radioactivity can be measured, what is the um, background, um, uh, what is the uh, reason for nuclear stability or nuclear unstability. And then in this, uh, uh, this um, lecture, I will cover the following topics that is the fission reaction, uh, nuclear fission reaction. Uh, fusion reaction, then spallation and uh, environmental some of the environmental implications I will tell and also I will uh, talk about the nuclear reactors. Okay. Uh, now, um, uh, here uh, I will tell you about the nuclear fission reactions. You know, uh, Han and uh, Strassman in 1939, uh, when they irradiate, when uranium is irradiated with slow neutrons, then it is observed that uranium nucleus can be broken up. It breaks up actually into two parts. Those two parts are not equal; they are unequal parts. Okay. So fission. Fission means we know what is fission. Fission means breaking up. So uh, nucleus of uranium is uh, broken up into two fragments. That is that is why it is called fission, fission reaction, nucleus is um, breaking. Okay. Now, what is the um, with breaking they release, what is the important thing about this is that with the breaking they release huge amount of energy, okay. uh, huge amount of energy they release. Okay. But you, um, you have to remember that um, during fission also 2 to 3 neutrons are also formed which are available for bombarding another nucleus. So, this is some type of chain reaction you know. So, in first step some nucleus uh, uh, is fission and then uh, uh, some neutrons are produced. Okay. Those neutrons again will, uh, will uh, interact will uh, cleave some, uh, some other nucleus from again uh, some more neutrons are produced. Again those neutrons will, um, uh, will break some other nucleus. Okay. So, this way it will be like a chain reaction and each time it will produce huge amount of energy. So, ultimately it will produce a collection uh, will be huge means uh, it is huge amount of energy that is uh, released for this. During this process 200 me, uh, MeV of energy is liberated for each nuclear fission. So, uh, you, you see here 
this is the uranium 235 this is slow neutron this you have to remember slow neutrons ok you are bombarded with slow neutrons and then this is producing barium uh, and krypton I have told you that they are unequal. So, you see barium here it is 141 atomic mass um, uh, number and here it is 92. So, they are unequal and 2 to 3 neutrons are produced um, ok and huge amount of energy. So, this this principle is used uh, to make the um, to make the um, atom bomb ok to make the atom bomb. Who during the World War Two actually this was a project Manhattan Project that uh, that was taken up in America and they produced this uh, atom bomb. Okay, um, and uh, you all know the um, the um, how the it has been uh, um, applied uh, on Japan. Okay, and now uh, I am not tell uh, those things now, but uh, I am because I am discussing the. Uh, chemistry part uh, of uh, radioactivity and uh, um, some extent uh, uh, physics part may be you can tell, but those uh, application on some other country I will not tell about those, but what is the energy you can see here I, if I compare 1 kg of uranium 235 on complete fission ok releases 1.7 to 10 to the power 13 calories of energy. Uh, you may not uh, you if uh, just by uh, seeing 1.7 10 to the 13 calorie of energy you cannot uh, um, means imagine how much it is ok that is why i am just comparing 1 pound of uranium 235 is equivalent to 5 into 10 to the 6 pounds of bituminous coal so this much amount of bituminous coal the energy it can give is same as same same energy 1 pound of uranium 235 you can get ok and 20 to 10 to the 6 pounds of TNT same energy it can give TNT you know trinitrotoluene that is explosive it is a strong explosive ok. So, uh, you can imagine that by doing this reaction how much energy you can get ok and you can know also that uh, when it is applied to Japan that uh, what happened actually. Now, uh, but here uh, this if this energy can be used for good purpose you know it is another source of energy it is called atomic energy. If you can use it for good purpose then it is said that next 100 years we do not have to even think worry about the power electricity ok if we can use this atomic energy, but um, this um, this is uncontrolled when it is applied in the atom bombs then it is uh, uncontrolled way the energy is released, but when we want to use it for good purpose we have to have controlled uh, controlled uh, some uh, um, arrangement ok. Um, anyway, so this is the principle. Now, uh, what is nuclear fusion reaction? Nuclear fusion that was fission means breaking up, here it is fusion means it is combination combining two things. What is the combination? Isotopes of very light elements such as deuterium, tritium, hmm, these elements um, these are what? Uh, these, these deuterium, tritium are uh, hydrogen na no? isotopes of hydrogen so they can be they can react with one another to form more stable nuclei obviously it will be heavier nuclei because uh, when something is combined the product will be heavier that is uh, for sure now you can see two examples here this is the deuterium and this is the um, tritium okay they combine they combine to form helium and uh, neutron and huge amount of energy Another example deuterium deuterium uh, 2 deuterium um, so it can give helium this isotope this is also helium this is also helium because the atomic uh, because the mass um, um, is you saw the, uh, uh, atomic uh, number is 2 ok atomic number is 2 and uh, this atomic mass unit is um, different 4 and 3. So, they are basically the isotopes of helium now, but the energy you see here 
Now, such reactions can only be initiated, but main problem with this here actually more energy is produced compared to fission reaction. Okay. These types of reactions are occurring actually in sun and stars. What is the source of energy in sun? So, much energy you are getting from sun, but what is the source? There this type of fusion reaction is going on okay. and um, we are getting energy, but to bring this type of uh, reaction occur uh, we need something that is very important. Such reactions can only be initiated at a very high temperature million degree million degree. So, they are known as thermonuclear reaction actually how will you get this much of energy this much of uh, high temperature how will you get? it can only be obtained by fusion reaction. So, to, to do this fusion reaction we need to have some arrangement. So, that some fusion reaction occurs to trigger this reaction. Okay. So, there should be some arrangement inside there may be this type of materials this is in the core and outside arrangement is such that some uh, fusion reaction occurs to trigger the reaction fusion reaction to occur in the core. Okay. But how will you do this? This is very uh, difficult task is not it? Fusion reaction releases huge amount of energy much higher than the fusion reaction, but, but how to do it that is uh, how to get this uh, high temperature um, to trigger this is very very uh, means uh, difficult that is why. Um, engineers are trying to do this okay. and uh, the source of energy in hydrogen bomb also is the same fusion reaction. So, hydrogen bombs that is the in fusion reaction we have seen that is the atom bomb here it is hydrogen bomb. Okay. If we can prepare hydrogen bomb then we will get more energy compared to the fusion reaction, but um, it is difficult. Okay. Now, there is another type of reaction which is called spallation. The example is this one spallation, this is something different from fission, it is very different from fusion, but it is also different from fission reaction. What is the thing happening here? High speed nuclear projectiles, I already told you what is projectile, right. So, nuclear projectiles with high energy greater than uh, 400 MeV may tear off sizable fragments. Here you can see that there are not two nuclei, two heavy nuclei are not formed here like fission reaction. In the fission reaction we have seen that two, uh, two nuclei they are also heavy nuclei are formed, they are not equal, but uh, two nuclei are formed. Here only one nuclei, but there are many other particles formed you see here the product nucleus processes an atomic number 10 to 20 units lower where it is going 10 to 20 units is going here proton and neutron and mass of about 30 units less than the parent nuclei parent nucleus this is the parent nucleus then it is bombarded with high energy uh, projectile then you are getting some other nuclei along with uh, many uh, particles. Okay. This is not self sustaining reaction not like chain reaction that we have seen in fission reaction it is chain reaction, but here it is not chain reaction it is not that is why it is written not self sustaining reaction ok. Spallation. So, you have learnt three types of reaction one is the fission reaction another is the fusion reaction another is the spallation ok. Characteristics are different. Now, as I told you that all those reactions uh, are uncontrolled way uh, it is done. So, energy you cannot make use of it, okay. the energy you cannot use for good purpose, okay. but here nuclear reactors that we are using um, the, we are producing principally same, but we are producing energy the principle is same as fission reaction that we are we have done we have learned. But here 
it is done in such a way that the energy produced we can utilize for uh, good purpose. Okay. So, let us see what is nuclear reactor. Nuclear fission reactions release huge amount of energy here when it is uncontrolled leads to tragedy that we have seen atom bombs. Okay. But now, nuclear reaction reactions, nuclear chain reactions can be controlled in a nuclear reactor, it is under controlled condition. Okay. Nuclear reactor has the following components, there are some components, uh, what are the components? First thing is the fuel, what is fuel? It is not coal here, it is not uh, petrol here, here it is uranium that is uh, the, uh, the uh, radioactive element which we want to um, uh, means break, okay. fission we want to do. Okay. So, that is fissionable nuclei, okay. what is that? Fissionable material like uranium 238, uranium 233 um, like this. So, um, natural uranium 238 um, enriched in uranium 235 is used uh, as fuel. You know natural uranium uh, that we get um, uranium ore that they are uh, that um, uranium 235 is very very small amount it is only 99.3 percent is uranium 238 only 0 0.7 percent is uranium 238 to 235 but we need 235 to break. Okay. So, how we can do it? Either we have to separate it means 235 and 238 we can separate, but it is very difficult. Why it is difficult? Because you know it is the same material right, the uh, this is the isotope. So, here uh, their atomic number is same and uh, properties are also same okay. only thing difference is mass and that is why. Uh, their density may be different, other some properties may be di uh, different, but separation is really diffi difficult. Okay. That is why uh, costly affair, it is very costly affair. So, uh, some, uh, some method is um, used to enrich the material with 235. It, it is not pure 235 your two, uh, uranium 235, but it is enriched in two thir uranium 235 that also works. Okay. So, um, that is the fuel and the fuel and the reactor may contain it is huge reactor, uh, it is the it is a huge reactor and the amount uh, it can contain 6 tons of pure uranium, okay. but there is something like minimum amount of fuel needed to sustain a chain reaction is known as critical mass. So, there must be some amount there which is the critical mass to to um, to carry out this type of chain reaction this is called critical mass but the capacity is 6 tons huge amount so this is the fuel okay and uh, moderator you know neutrons uh, you, you have already seen that fission reaction slow neutrons are required fast neutron will not work, slow neutrons are required. So, uh, but when the neutrons are, neutrons are produced they are um, with high energy. Okay. So, then they you have to um, slow down, okay. you, how will you slow down? So, using a moderator, okay. how, uh, moderator, so neutrons are slowed down by using the moderator and what is moderator? Pure carbon, may be graphite. Uh, beryllium and heavy water are used as moderator. So, the, um, the um, purpose of moderator is to slow down the um, neutron that is produced and otherwise the chain reaction will not happen. right? So, uh, this is the um, function of moderator. Now, control rod say for example, you see that it is going beyond control then you have to um, you have to stop the reaction or you have to um, you have to um, control the reaction then how will you do it uh, there must be some control rod okay control rod means it may be uh, cadmium rod or it may be other types of things also can be used so cadmium rod generally used to uh, to absorb neutrons to stop the reaction or to uh, control the reaction okay so, these are the components, there are other things also I have not written, but there may be this is called cladding means uh, the, the material uh, by uh, using which that uh, whole reactor is 
produced okay constructed so outer um, outer um, means uh, wall okay so that is uh, usually aluminum alloy is used in the reactor uh, okay so um, that is the thing another thing is required to cool down because huge amount of heat will be generated so you have to cool it down otherwise it will burst or it may use some other uh, effect it can bring so to cool down um, coolant is to be used so coolant means it can be water it can be other material it can be carbon dioxide gaseous substance uh, helium also and uh, water heavy water all those things can be used uh, and that heat that is uh, captured by this coolant can be used for some other purpose uh, heat exchanger okay it can you uh, it can be used for other purpose without wasting it can be used for other purpose so these are the main components of a nuclear reactor um, to control this thing this um, reaction each step is very important and uh, to make use of it each step each component is very important um, uh, now different types of nuclear reactors are used for production of electricity okay um, but um, these are the principles and these are the components that has to be there you uh, you already know that chernobyl that uh, disaster in russia it happened in um, in uh, uh, 1986 you know that uh, that nuclear reactor that uh, uh, happened accident happened and uh, um, burst uh, uh, lot of uh, nuclear uh, radioactive materials were uh, spread uh, in different countries even it crossed uh, many different borders uh, and it reached other countries also uh, so those types of things it happens it it is very very uh, dangerous thing okay uh, during tsunami also you have seen that we do, we do not know but it is uh, told in the, during tsunami also in japan that nuclear reactor something happened so um, you know this is very useful if you can make use of it it is good but uh, there are lot of uh, precautions you have to take otherwise uh, it may give lot of uh, disaster and hazards okay so that is why um, we have to be very very careful now uh, uh, now regarding the reference i can tell you that uh, uh, these three same books and uh, very interesting topic but um, you know uh, applications also many interesting applications but uh, um, but a lot of cautious uh, we have to be uh, so that we can uh, make use of it now conclusion in this lecture the uh, we have discussed about the nuclear fission reaction nuclear fusion reaction spallation reaction all those things and then uh, nuclear reactor also uh, what are the main components and uh, how we are producing energy, atomic energy there, all those things I have discussed and thank you very much.